Hi, I'm Steve Doss. I'm the Chief Actuary at Social Security Administration, and I'm uh, talking to you here from the 2011 Society of Actuaries Annual Meeting, which has been quite an impressive meeting. I've been to a few, and this really has got to be the best. Uh, really, uh, hats off to the staff of SOA who've done an amazing job, as they almost always do in every regard. But in terms of putting together the sessions this year, this has really been outstanding. I have not seen a batch of sessions that really compares or competes with what we've been seeing here. Let me tell you about uh, specifically just a couple of the sessions that I've been to. I'll put in my reading glasses so I can even uh, conjure this up. Uh, the first one I went to was a 16 panel discussion, number 16, about mortality projections. Uh, there's a lot of discussion there about things that people at my office know a lot about, about mortality projection models. It was very useful, chance to get everybody together and talk about the latest data and, and material. That was very useful for us, and I think would be for anybody who's interested in what mortality trends are likely to be in the future. Uh, there's another one I've got to plug, and that is number 30, uh, was identified as a debate format about Social Security separating fact from fiction. Hope anybody who wants to take a peek at that and understand those issues related to budget issues, uh, whether the trust funds are real, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, will take a peek at that. That was really a, a useful session, I hope. Uh, but there were two more sessions that occurred after that that I was able to attend uh, that were really quite extraordinary. One was the 42 panel discussion uh, referred to as moving from accumulation to consumption. The message here was really quite stark, and hopefully this will be something that will press a lot of people into doing a lot of thought. Uh, basically, Fidelity folks and others were saying that we just have not succeeded in encouraging people to leave lump sums behind and go for annuities. We simply have not succeeded. Uh, are there new creative ways to try to get there? They're trying, we should all try, because uh, without annuities, uh, who understands better than actuaries uh, that lifetime income is not gonna happen. Uh, a final session that I went to this morning was number 62L for lecture. That's a little bit unusual. There was a guy from University of Chicago, don't remember his name, finance professor, I guess, talking about long-range volatility of stocks. And we had quite an interesting and useful discussion about the volatility of stocks and what that means. His framework was principally in the direction of thinking about people going to life cycle accounts, et cetera, et cetera, all this stuff. But there are many ways in which uh, investments come into play for everything that actuaries do, valuation actuaries of various different types. So uh, I think uh, there was a lot of eye-opening, interesting stuff. He tried to bring actually some new aspects of research and some of the questions some of us asked afterwards, we tried to push him into further directions to make it even more germane to the uh, kinds of issues that we deal with as actuaries. But really, the final deal that just happened just shortly ago was the presidential luncheon, where uh, the baton was passed over to our new incoming president, Brad Smith. Uh, and it, this is a remarkable event. Brad got up and he was talking really solely about leadership, the qualities of leadership, and the possibility that has been much discussed of pulling the various actual organizations together to be stronger together. Uh, quite remarkably, after him, General Stanley McChrystal uh, came on and spoke in a way that was surprising, certainly to me and to a lot of people. He was not up there talking like John Wayne about military. He was talking about leadership, the qualities of leadership, and what is necessary for leadership. And he could have been talking from any frame of reference. It completely ported over to the stuff that we all do in our jobs every day. Uh, Brad's talk, General McChrystal's talk, actually ended up coinciding. I talked to Brad afterwards and he said no, they hadn't planned it out this way, but if that's available for you all to look at who were not here at the meeting, you should. It was really, really remarkable stuff. So uh, hope you all make the next meeting.